I've started to discover that having a job and doing this project is very conflicting and difficult. I'm not giving up, mind you. I'm, I'm finishing this. I've already spent about the better part of a year working on it, so I might as well finish. Um, so since I have no idea, since I have no idea what to talk about, I thought I'd look through one of my old yearbooks and tell you how I came to know some of the people who I consider my best friends right now. So I'll look through this year's actually. Great cover, right? No. Terrible. Alright. I guess I'll start with the person who I consider my best friend. And he'll never let that go now that I've said that. Tristan. I first met Tristan in seventh grade. Second quarter, it was, I think. And I actually met him before he and his current girlfriend, Alyssa, started dating. And they've been dating for two years, so... So we were both in uh, a, an elective class called Adopt a Beach, which was run by one of my least favorite... No. She was my, by far, least favorite teacher, Pam. We had to get into groups, and I didn't know many people in the class. I recognized about one person, and that was this guy named Dominic. So I went over to that table, and he was already sitting with Tristan. And I don't really remember what the first thing I said was. It was probably something like, really stupid. So we met in seventh grade, and we ended up... The assignment was to make a board game that had to do with, like, a lake. Let me just show you how it looks, because it proves that... We haven't really matured at all in two years, so hang on. So this is my half. We created a board game entitled Beachy Land, which I think we've only played once. We played it that year, and then we played it last year, I believe. But anyway, as you can see, it's mostly just twists and turns and variations on smiley faces and a lot of spit marks, because it, it was mostly talking. Honestly, that hasn't changed at all. So, at the end, we decided to split it in half, and the deal was that in like 50 years, we would meet up again and put it together and play. And like I said, we ended up playing it last year as well. We'll probably play it. Well, we didn't play it this year. I don't know, 50 years. Then there's Santana. I met Santana earlier than that. I met Santana probably the third quarter of sixth grade, back when I was rocking the just straight down hair, but he's seen me at one of my worst times. Um, I forget what class that was. I think it was a book making elective, probably, and I was actually introduced to him by my late friend, uh, Alexis Lopez. I joined her group, and he happened to be in that group, so we met, and we made just the weirdest, most twisted version of Little Red Riding Hood. I think she was like, either a serial, serial killer or like a vampire. I wish I still had it. It was really just twisted. Um, so I've known him for longer. Uh, in the past year or so, we've started to drift apart a little bit, which makes me feel bad, and it's not completely his fault. And I realize that people change, but... And then there's Ben, who I'd probably consider my third best friend. I only met him, really first quarter of this year, and we weren't even really friends until probably 
second quarter. Ben has been at Walden since last year, and he was mainly Tristan's friend back then. I didn't really know him that well, mostly because I didn't see him because he was in high school and I was only an eighth grader. So this year I was in a Photoshop class, and what I remember the most was Ben somehow got somehow hacked another kid's computer and played the song Spooky Scary Skeletons on it. And after class, I went to him and I said, hey, can you show me show me how to do that? And he said, uh, not right now. And I said, oh, okay, that's fine. That was our first encounter. And I mean, things just kind of spiraled downwards after that. Just some really weird crap, as you've, as you've seen on the channel. And then there's Paul. Paul is one of the best friends that I've known for the longest time. In fact, I think I met him in the first week of sixth grade. And I don't even, it was so long ago, I don't even remember, but Paul was the first person that I ever did videos with in at Walden. So he's been with me since the very beginning. And thinking about this kind of makes me feel bad because we've kind of drifted apart too and I've been trying to stop that, but I can do more. So my question to you, future me, is have you stopped the drifting apart that you've experienced with a few of your friends and have you made any more friends? It's going to catch on.